Youth runner here with uh, Las Lomas standout, Lily Montilla, 18-17-9. Uh, take runner up in the uh, girls' small school race here at the 45th ASIC School of Invitational at Woodward Park. Uh, obviously, always a blessing to be able to have a, like a large group to work with, you know, so it wasn't, you know, just you having to do it all by yourself or, you know, Amelia from Brentwood having to do it uh, all by herself. Like, how, mu how much did that, did that carry you, like, especially through maybe, like, two miles or two and a half miles and then like whatever you had left you were able to push it at the end like you did. Yeah so the last two and a half miles it's always you know very difficult so basically just staying with the group and then at the end how many girls can you get one after the other just try to take them one at a time and have a big surge that's always the goal at the end. Most definitely so like when so when you got to the, you know to the white your white ticket booth uh, out there and then obviously yeah. on going to, uh, to the asphalt and, uh, and the grass like uh, you, uh, you really seemed uh, to, uh, to be able to summon you know what like whatever gear was left and uh, and, and be able to attack i mean i know it's only mid-october and you're only going to get better you know uh lily as, as we get into the postseason but is that was that encouraging for you the, uh, like the body responded the way it did at the end yeah so just as you said like the grass and the asphalt nice and flat makes it a lot better and then just being able to see the finish like eyes up keep your eyes on that and just give it all you got that's always the best Obviously, your your group has uh, always been well respected, not just in the NCS but around the state as a strength group. So I knew that you were going to have that, and you were going to be able to handle the hill uh, in the very mature fashion uh, that, uh, that that a senior does. Uh, but I mean, and not even in, in the sense of having like an exact time goal, but just in terms of the way you felt like your fitness was gonna was gonna you know kind of handle th this course and, and handle this race like uh, do you feel like this was kind of right in line with what you and the coaches thought was possible yes definitely this is what we work towards so having it all pay off is very rewarding awesome i said to amelia sarkisian a uh, young lady from brentwood in the southern section that uh that uh, prevailed how motivating is this now lily uh the fact that i mean obviously when, when anytime you're i feel like you're in that range of you know, 1825, 1820 or less, obviously you're running 1817 today, to say, I've got uh, you know, a, a set amount of weeks. Uh, and I mean, obviously nothing's promised, nothing's guaranteed. You gotta get through NCS at Hayward yes. first and foremost, but Lord willing health providing that you're back here on November 30th, like yes. to be able to take that 18 in the far left column and now to be able to set a target and, and be motivated and inspired to go after 17 yep. in the left column. Like, do you, I mean, do you feel like you got the reassurance that you needed today that, that that's there as long as you stay healthy? Yes, today was a good reminder and just always trying to improve every race. So that's my goal. Awesome. Uh, well, fantastic effort out there today. Uh, Best uh, in, in Northern California in, in the race as Amelia Sarkeesian uh, competes in the, in the southern section. Uh, the two of you will not see each other at the state meet as you're in uh, different divisions, but obviously as long as you're here on November 30th, yes. uh, that's the most important goal. Again, 1817.9 for Lily Montilla uh, here at the 45th ASICS Clovis Invitational. Stay healthy. Best of luck. Thank you.